Hi everybody, this is Jim from Jim's Everything Else channel. Um, please stay to the end. You'll be surprised how messed up my garden became and I figured out how to do it correctly and what happened to it. So stay to the end and please subscribe, tell your friends because they might run into the same problem I did. And thank you very much for subscribing. Have a great day. Enjoy the video. Boy, I got something different for you today. Remember how my garden used to look before I changed out that one summer squash? Well, I messed up the chemicals big time. Now I'm looking at death. It's pretty bad. But I still have my pump. I still have chemicals. I can start over again. And that's probably what I'll do. I'm just doing a film on how bad it could get. Some of the vegetables are sorry, savageable. Yeah, that tomato right there is almost ripe, so I can probably take that. And I have some sweet 100s that are turning good. So I just need to get some seed started upstairs in my little seed tent and then after that I will redo my garden it's pretty bad so what happened was I flushed the system with a whole bunch of fresh water and it killed everything I don't think it's savable. So sometimes chemistry is hard. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. And at least I got a couple of tomatoes to eat until the new plants get ripe. So it's pretty devastating. My wife's more mad at, at it than I am, but I'm okay. I still think that we're going to be able to get a whole bunch of fruit out of it. Tomatoes at least. when I got all my levels perfect I messed up the chemistry and now I gotta start over again so say la vie say the old folks this goes to show you never can tell just gotta chin up and move forward well, you guys have a good day. Stay tuned for more adventures because it is adventurous. Please subscribe, ring the bell, share with your friends, comment below, tell me how stupid I am or, you know, encourage me to do better. I don't care. Just stay tuned. And God bless you. We'll have fun in the future. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, I figured it out. The main problem I had was my pH meter. Somehow it got uncalibrated. It, uh, I might have dropped it or something, but I thought I was setting it between 5.5 and 6.5 pH. Actually, I was setting it at 1.0 pH, so it was very bad. So with a pH meter that's brand new, made sure it was calibrated and started fresh. I even got brand new plants. Stay tuned for more gardening tips. 
Maybe I'll do it right this time. Maybe not. We'll learn together. Thank you. Well, this is going to be a video about what not to do. And then how to correct it. All right, this is the how to correct it part. I had to replant my whole garden. This is going to be a genuine beefsteak tomato. My cucumber. Poblano. Peppers. <laughs> summer squash. And this is my Biltmore tomato. Here's another Biltmore tomato. A bell pepper. A poblano. Another bell pepper. And another genuine beefsteak. All right. What happened was my pH meter was messed up. And when I was just my pH to match that meter, I got down to 1.1. <laughs> and that was no good. So, thanks for sticking with me. And uh, now you know, don't trust your meters. Always calibrate. There's instructions on them. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for staying to the end. Bye-bye.